Well, Lesotho's uh, Thomas Tabane stepped down as the country's prime minister yesterday after months of pressure following suspicion. He allegedly killed his ex-wife. He will, however, stay on as the leader of the All Basotho Convention. His successor, current finance minister Mweke Majoro, is expected to be sworn in at some point this week. Let's get a reaction from the deputy leader of the Democratic Congress, that's uh, Mr. Motlalentwa Letsusa, who joins us from Lesotho. Mr. Letsusa, thank you very much for your time. Confirm for us if uh, the current finance minister uh, Mweke Majoro will be sworn in tomorrow. That is true, sir. Uh, Dr. Mwekezi Majoru, the current finance minister, will take oath as the next prime minister of Lesotho, Komoro. The Council of State has advised His Majesty, His Majesty the King, mm. that um, Dr. Majoru is the one now to take control of the let me ask you about uh, the question around the formation of the new government. When is that new government expected to be inaugurated in Parliament once the uh, finance minister has been sworn in as the prime minister? Our expectation and the expectation of the parliament is that by Friday 22nd, cabinet it has been inaugurated. In other words, um, inauguration of cabinet ministers mm. should happen before the 22nd of May, which is Friday. Mm. All right. And, uh, of course, you are part of uh, the Democratic Congress Party, which is the opposition in Lesotho, but you are going to form part and parcel of this new coalition uh, of the incoming government. What will... What will you do differently this time around? You've been part of this coalition before. Yeah, I think um, most of the time we realized uh, the mistakes written done by the 4x4 uh, coalition. 4x4 coalition is the one which was led by Dr. Tavadi until uh, the 11th of, uh, 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 11th of May mm. when... Uh, that government was, was disbanded. So we have realized uh, where they made mistakes. We are expecting that we are going to cut against such mistakes and improve the livelihoods of the ordinary person. Look at what happened with the wood and mohair mm. uh, 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 saga that put Lesotho on the spotlight for a long time, since the end of 2017, I think. Yeah. So we realized that uh, had that not happened, we wouldn't have many of the problems we are facing now. But because of that, we have so many problems related to the women law and uh, So it's just one of those things, rule of law and, and many other things. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, the now retired uh, Prime Minister Tom Tabane. He appeared in court in February this year. That was in connection with the murder of his uh, ex-wife, Dipolelo, but he's not been formally charged. Why is that? Um, the, his, his counsel, his lawyers, um, brought a very technical issue. You know, instead of appearing in court and uh, the, the charge uh, being read to him, the, the lawyers came to say um, the court did not have the jurisdiction to charge the sitting prime minister. Oh. That was strange. But it, it was a delay, delay tactic. Now, the constitutional court had to go and interpret that to say, do we agree that the sitting prime minister cannot be charged mm. by the magistrate court? So that is where the issue is. But we know, we know that that was not true. It was only a delay tactic. Fortunately, this end, can, uh, his, his, his trainer comes to an end abruptly. So we will see him in court, I think. Let me ask you this final question, Mr. Letusa. Uh, now that he's no longer prime minister, the assumption is that he no longer enjoys that uh, immunity, if you like. Are we likely to see the case against him move faster in court? And what happens if he runs to South Africa as he's done before? How should South African authorities treat him here? 
Yes. As, as you said uh, in quotes, that immunity, and we all agree there is no immunity. It was only the delay infected. Mm-hmm. Now, should he um, run to South Africa, and it has happened before, I think we will have to ask South Africa to help us uh, bring him back. Remember, the first lady who went to South Africa uh, when she was supposed to go to the court of law. But I think enough pressure was exerted on her, mm-hmm. such that she found herself uh, at Masiru Border Post. So I think in, in, even in this case, um, something like that will happen. All right, that's uh, Mr. Motlalentwa Letusa. He is the deputy leader of uh, the main opposition in Lesotho, the Democratic Congress Party.